Nets boy here. Bring all your latest in your Brooklyn Nets news. Uh, so, this is now video number something, I don't know if you can remember, of my videos of my top five players in the respective position. This is top five power forwards. Um, before I start, uh, this video might be a little bit faster than the other ones. Uh, I, I'm, I've noticing that I've got a whopping four views on my last video, which means a couple things. Um, first, it means that that nobody really knows about these videos, and that's number one. Number two is anybody who does know about them doesn't care to watch them, and number three is anybody who does watch them gets sick of them because they're kind of too long. For last week's video was a little bit too long, it was like 15 minutes. So I'm going to try to make this one a little bit quicker. I'm going to try to make all the videos a little quicker. I think under 10 minutes, there's no reason for me to be sitting around talking for longer than 10 minutes about anything, really. I'm pretty sure if I can't get my point across by then, then I suck. So uh, so these are top five power forwards in the league, my rankings. Um, of course, the season has not yet started. It's early September that we're getting there. And so I'm just ranking everything right now. So top five power forwards. Now, power, the power forward spot, this is the true power forward spot. We're not talking about... Those power forwards who play the center position. And they're called centers. No, they're called power forwards. So let's go in. Uh, my honorable mention is Dirk Nowitzki. And Dirk Nowitzki is an honorable mention only because of his health issues. Uh, I think he's really a top five for sure. But because he was, uh, you know, he was hurt for half of the season, he only averaged 17 points, you know, and six rebounds, a little over six rebounds. It was very, really helped the Mavs when he did come back. But... He was an honorable mention because he was mostly not healthy enough to put up his regular Dirk-like numbers. So that's my honorable mention. Uh, my number five, or fifth ranked, power forward is Blake Griffin. Um, I think Blake Griffin is one of the most overrated players in the league. I think he really has no skill set other than the fact that he's extremely athletic. He's a lot like Sean Kemp when Sean Kemp came into the league. Sean Kemp did eventually develop a more complete game as he got older and, and you know, his athleticism went away. But for the time being, um, that's the way Blake Griffin, I feel, is. He has to show glimpses of potential of being a real basketball player, but also he just jumps over people. But he did average 18 points a game and 8.3 assists. I mean, excuse me, 8.3 rebounds. He doesn't pass the ball much. But what really frustrates me the most about Blake Griffin is he averaged only .6 blocks per game. And I'm sorry, if you are as athletic as he is and can jump as high as he does, wouldn't you expect more than .6 blocks a game? Like, I, that that baffles me. Him and DeAndre Jordan both baffle me at how they're not like it. at least two blocks a game, both of them. So, Blake Griffin, you're number five only because you statistically you're number five, but I think you actually kind of suck. But I'm going to put you at number five because it's kind of a toss-up of who should be as number five. Uh, number four is Josh Smith. I was gonna say I was gonna say Josh Smooth for a second. Jay Smooth, Josh Smith. Uh, he's definitely showing that he is all, all the potential that he lived up to now. Uh, Seventeen point five points per game, eight point four rebounds, one point eight blocks. Really athletic, starting to show his complete skill set. Still gets a little shooter happy, thinking he can shoot threes. It's not really his game, but overall, I mean, he's definitely a guy that. Deserves to be in the top five of the power forwards. Um, I think the Pistons are in good shape getting him. I think they're going to make the um, he's going to make the Pistons better. He's a really solid power forward in the league, and you know, paired up with the right teammates, Josh Smith could you know the sky's the limit. You know, he's still like what 27, 28. He's still he's right in his prime. So he's number four though because he's just a complete total package. He's like what Blake Griffin should hopefully become if Blake Griffin developed a skill set. So then number three, uh, my number. Three ranked power forward is Chris Bosh. Now, statistically, Chris Bosh is not number three. 16.6 points per game, 6.8 rebounds. But we know that Chris Bosh is really the third best, and at least a top three power forward in the league. We know that if LeBron James and Dwayne Wade weren't on his team, he'd be averaging at least 20 points a game and eight rebounds. You know, he's only barely cracking 30 minutes a game, you know, so he's not playing tons of minutes. He really is just, though, a, just a complete player. And I used to always rip on Chris Bosh because, you know, he looks funny. 
you know, he, I mean, let's be honest, if you look at his face, you're like, what, what is that? And he's really skinny and lanky, but he really is a, a solid player, and is, he's a really great power forward. He can make that mid-range jump shot. He has a decent post game. You know, he's athletic, so he can block some shots. He can give you rebounds. You all know about his rebound that he had in the finals, or game six of the finals, to the pass to Ray Allen. That was just as big as Ray Allen's shot. So he's he's just a great player, and he's number three because you know he does everything well. And, you know, you can't say nothing, nothing bad about Chris Bosh. And he's really taken a back seat behind both Wade and LeBron, and you have to respect him for that. True team player. So he's number three. Um, so now my number two ranked power forward is LaMarcus Aldridge. Uh, now, LaMarcus Aldridge is a guy who I feel like doesn't get a lot of respect in the league because he plays for the Trailblazers, and, you know, the Trailblazers haven't been that great in a long, in, you know, in a while. But he puts up fantastic numbers, 21.1 points per game, 9.10 uh, rebounds per game, player efficiency rating at 22.76. He's just a really good good power forward. I think he is the second best power forward in the league. Uh, he had, he was forced to play a bit of the center position this year because they didn't have a true center, but that's not his strength. He's much better playing almost away from the basket as a set jump shooter and then getting the ball down on the post later on against smaller guys. So offensively, he's probably the most skilled big man in the game, uh, especially power forward wise. Um, you know, when it comes to being able to shoot the mid-range jump shot, being able to have some post moves, athleticism, rebounding, he's like the total package of a power forward. And I think that really he's just incredible. Now, the reason why he's number two and not number one is because he plays for the Trailblazers. His numbers could be a little fluctuated. He's the focal point of that offense. But now, other than Damian Lillard, who's on that team, they don't have a lot of offense, so he has to score... 21 points a game, but he's number two, because let's be honest, if you look at him and watch him play and everything, very, very complete player, complete power forward. So that brings me now to my number one ranked power forward. Number one is Tim Duncan. Now, please don't say he's a center. If you do, I will hit you. He's not a center. Kevin Garnett is not a center. He's a power forward. Tim Duncan is not a center. He's a power forward. Um, that's his true position. He has played the center this year because he can. So has Kevin Garnett, and so has even Chris Bosh and LaMarcus Aldridge. These guys are power forwards. I just want to make that very clear because I get in fights with a lot of people about who the top in each positions are, and they say things like, oh, Tim, du Tim Duncan's one of the best centers. Like, no, he's a, he's a power forward. He'll tell you that. But Tim Duncan is definitely, though, the best power forward in the league, and this was something that I, I never really originally would have said but, honestly, he, he really is. Tim Duncan, you know, in the regular season, he averaged 17.8 points per game, 9.9 .9 rebounds, but what was so impressive was 2.6 blocks per game. But the guy is in his late 60s. He's late 60s. Okay, he's really in his late 30s. But, you know, he's been around so long, he might as well be in his late 60s. He's in his late 30s, and he still put up these fantastic numbers, and we saw in the playoffs how he cranked it up. It was phenomenal, and... Oh, everything about Tim Duncan, he just, oh, why wasn't he in, though, at the end of game six to get that rebound on Popovich? Never mind. Tim Duncan's the best power forward in the game. He's just the most complete player, that ugly-ass mid-range off the backboard shot. You know, his ability to rebound, his good, solid post game. You know, he's very awkward and un with the way he looks and the way he plays, but he's very efficient. And I feel like no one can argue, but especially off base off the playoffs last year that Tim Duncan is still the best power forward in the game today. Then again, you know, the power forward spot, there's not really one guy who jumps ahead of the rest. You know, there's a lot of good power forwards, but not a great one. Um, but, you know what, I definitely think Tim Duncan, though, is still the best, just because of what he brings to the table. His veteran leadership, his defense, uh, you know, his, his offensive ability, his fundamentals, his ugly-ass gameplay. Brings everything that you want in a power forward. So that's why he's number one. So there you have it. My top five power forwards. There's definitely room for argument here, with especially like David West and Serge Ibaka, David Lee. You can get those guys in there, even Paul Millsap. There's a lot of good, solid power forwards. But these are just my picks. Um, 
So that's that's that with that. That, 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 that. Uh, good, 10 minutes. This video has been 10 minutes long instead of my 15 minute long video I had last week. So hopefully, hopefully uh, these videos stay about about 10 minutes. So if you're one of my four people who watched my videos last week and you're watching this week, start spreading the word. You know, four people just, there's something about not having five people that make me upset. So if you can just start spreading the word, the word, I really appreciate it. Uh, next week, I'll have my top five centers. And that's centers, not power forwards. Centers in the league. And that is going to be a video that if you actually like what I ever have to say that you should not miss because I'm very animated about my beliefs in centers and who the top five are. So um, tune in whenever that video will be, whether it's next week or some other time in the future. So this is Nets Boy signing off.